Hello students, welcome to Anne's classes. Let's do cube and cube roots exercise 4B. Page number 57 and we are doing question 8. Find the cube roots of the first one. 700 into 2 into 49 into 5. So first what we are going to do is we are going to find the prime factors of 700. So let's do that. Let's write down. 700 and let's find the prime factors. You can start with 5. 5 ones are 5 and then there's 2 left 20. 5 fours are 20, 0. You can continue with 5. Now whenever numbers are ending in 0 or 5, you can use 5. Now let's take 14. 5 twos are 10. There is 4 left. 5 eights are 40. Now it's an even number. Let's use 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 fours are 8. Continue. 2 into 7 is 14. Now we use 7. 7 ones are 7. So now we've got all the prime factors of 700. So let's write this first. The cube root of all those numbers. So let's write that now. I'm going to write down all the prime factors. Now of 700 we have 5 into 5. And then we have into 2 into 2. And then we have 7. So we've finished with 700. Now let's take 2. So into 2. Now let's take 49. 49 is 7 into 7, isn't it? 7 into 7 and let's take 5 into 5. So as you can see here you have 5, 2, 7 and again 2, 7, 5. Let's rearrange and put all the numbers together. So if we have 2s, we'll put all the 2s together. If we have 7s, we'll put all the 7s together like that. So let's count the 5s. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 5s. So let's write that 5 into 5 into 5. Now let's take the next one that is 2, 1, 2, 3. There are 3 2's. So into 2 into 2 into 2. Now let's take the 7's. 1, 2, 3. There are 3 7's. So into 7 into 7 into 7. Now it's easier to make a triplet. So here let's make a triplet. So here we have 3 5's, 3 2's and 3 7's. In the next step we take one of each. 5 into 2 into 7. So let's multiply. 5 twos are 10. 10 sevens are 70. So the answer to this question is 70. Next question. Find the cube roots of minus 216 into 1728. So let's do that. So we have 216. That's minus into 1728 find the cube root so 216 we already know if you look at the table you can see 216 is here that means 6 cube 6 into 6 into 6 will give us 216 so we can write that first so let's write for 216 we can put the minus sign outside and write 6 into 6 into 6 so we've got that now we're going to find the uh, prime factors of 1728. So let's do that. So 1728, you can divide it by 2, it's an even number. Now 17, 2 8s are 16, 1. So 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8. Now continue with 2 again. 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6, 2 2s are 4. Again with 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2. There's 1 left, 12, 2 6s are 12. Again with 2, 2 1s are 2 and then 0 and then 16, 2 8s are 16, 2, 2 5s are 10, 2 4s are 8. Again with 2, 2 into 27 is 54. Now we use 3. 3 9s are 27, 3 3s are 9 and 3 1s are 3. So we've got all the factors of 1728. Let's write it down. So let's count the number of 2's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 2's. So let's write that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 2's. And then we have 3 3's. 1, 2 and 3. Now we'll put them in triplets. So here we have 6. Here we have one set of 2, another set of 2 and then we have 3. So now let's write this down. So this is minus 6 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now let's multiply. 6 2's are 12. 12 2's are 24. 24 into 3 is 72. So we have minus 72 and this is our answer. 
Next sum, find the cube root of the third one here is minus 64 into minus 125. So both are negative numbers. So let's write that down. Minus 64 into minus 125, the cube root of these. Okay. Now here, 64, as you can see, the cube cube root is 4. That means you have to multiply 4 3 times, you get 64. Similarly, 125, the cube root is 5. So let's do that. We can take it straight away from there and write it down here. So minus uh, 64 will be 4 into 4 into 4. So I put the minus sign outside. Similarly here, we'll put the minus sign outside and write 5 into 5 into 5. So now we can easily form the triplets. We have here minus 4 and minus 5. So let's take that out. So we have minus 4 into minus 5. Now we know multiplication of integers. Minus into minus is plus. 4 fives are 20. So our answer here is plus 20. Fourth one is minus 27 by 343. So let's find the cube root of that. So that will be minus 27 by 343. Now let's look at the table. In the table, 27, the cube root is 3 and 343, the cube root is 7. So it's easy for us to write that down. So let's write that. Cube root of minus 27. So minus, now 27 will be 3 into 3 into 3. And in the denominator, we have 7 into 7 into 7. Now we have the triplet ready there. We have 3 as one triplet and 7 as the other triplet. So when we remove this root sign, it is minus 3 by 7. And this is our answer. Next one, 729 by minus 1331. We have to find the cube root of this. So let's write that. So we have 729 by minus 1331, the cube root of this. Now, looking at the table, 729, the cube root is 9. Now, 1331, now that is the number after 10. So, that is 11 cube is 1331. So, we can write that here. So, let's write this as 729 is 9 cubed, isn't it? So 9 into 9 into 9. In the denominator, we have minus of 11 into 11 into 11. Now get your triplet. You have a triplet there and a triplet here. So what is it now? We have 9 by minus 11. Or this can also be written as minus 9 by 11. Both are correct. Okay, so here this is how we normally write. Question 8. Find the cube roots of, now here, uh, the sixth one here is 250.047. So as you can see, this is a decimal number. First, let's write the question. 250.047. Now this is cube root of a decimal number. Now decimal number, we change it to a fraction as we always do. So I'm going to remove the decimal point. So 250, I'm writing and 047. Now I'm going to give this a denominator because I'm making it a decimal fraction. It should be 1 followed by zeros. Now how many zeros depends on the number of decimal places. 1, 2, 3. So this should be 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3 zeros. And the cube root of this is what we are going to find out. So first what we are going to do is we are going to find all the prime factors of this number. So let's do that. So let's write that 250047. That is 250047. Now it's ending in 7. So it's not divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Let's add it up. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. Yes, 18 is in the tables of 3. So this number is divisible by 3. So let's divide it by 3. Take 25. 3 eights are 24. Now 10. 3 threes are 9. Again, this one left. 3 threes are 9. Again, one left. 14. 3 fours are 12. There is 2 left. 27. 3 nines are 27. 
Is this number divisible by 3? 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. Yes, it is divisible by 3. So let's do it. Let's take 8. 3 twos are 6. There is 2 left. So 23. 3 sevens are 21. Again, 2 left. 23. 3 sevens are 21. 2 left. 24. 3 eights are 24. 3 threes are 9. Now, is this number divisible by 3? Let's again check and see. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 plus 7 is 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. And 27 is in the tables of 3. So, let's divide by 3. Let's take 27. 3 nines are 27. Then we have 7 left. 3 twos are 6. That's 18. 3 sixes are 18. 3 ones are 3. Let's check if this is divisible by 3. 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. Yes, it's in the tables of 3. So, let's do it. 3 threes are 9. Then 0, so 26. 3 eighths are 24. Again, 2, 21. 3 sevens are 21. Is this divisible by 3? 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. Yes. So, again, let's do 3 ones are 3. Then 0. 3 twos are 6, 2, 27, 3 nines are 27. Let's check for divisibility by 3. 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 2 is 12. Yes, 12 is in the tables of 3. So let's do this. Let's take 10. 3 threes are 9, there's 1 left 12. 3 fours are 12, 3 threes are 9. Now this is not divisible by 3. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. So we're going to use 7. Okay. So 7, 4s are 28 and there is 6 left, 63. 7, nines are 63. Continue. 7, 7s are 49. Then 7, 1s are 7. So now we have all the prime factors of 2,50,047. So let's write that down. Let's write down all the prime factors of that number. So how many 3s do we have? Let's count the 3s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 3s. Yes, six threes we have. So let's write down the threes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we have three sevens. One, two, three. Now in the denominator we have thousand, and we know that the cube root of thousand is ten. So we just have to say ten into ten into ten. Now put them in triplets. So one triplet, another one, and one more. In the denominator we have one. So now let's write down only one from each triplet. 3 into 3 into 7 by 10. 3 threes are 9. 9 sevens are 63. 63 by 10. Now if we write this as a decimal number, we get 6.3 because here there is one zero. There should be one decimal place. So we have found the cube root of this number that is 250.047 and that is 6.3. So this is our answer 6.3. Question 8. Find the cube root of the seventh one here is minus 1,75,616. So let's write that. So the cube root of minus 1,75,616. So, we have to find the prime factors of this number. So, let's do that. Let's find the prime factors of 1,75,616. It's an even number, so we can divide by 2. Let's take 17. 2 eighths are 16. There's 1 left, 15. 2 sevenths are 14. Again, 1 left. 2 eighths are 16. Then 0 and then 1. 2 eighths are 16. Again, we can use 2. 2 fours are 8. Then take a 7, 2 3s are 6, there's 1 left, 2 9s are 18, 0, 2 4s are 8. Again with 2, 2 2s are 4, then 2 1s are 2, 19, 2 8, 2 9s are 18, there's 1 left, 2 5s are 10, 2 2s are 4. Again let's use 2, 2 1s are 2, 0, so that's 19, 2 9s are 18, 15 here. 2 7s are 14, carry 1, 2 6s are 12. Again, by 2, 
2 5s are 10, then let's take 9. 2 4s are 8, there's 1 left, 17. 2 8s are 16, again there's 1 left, 2 8s are 16. Continue. 2 2s are 4, there's 1 left, 14. 2 7s are 14. 2 4s are 8, 2 4s are 8. Again, 2 1s are 2. 2 3s are 6, there's 1 left, 14. 2 7s are 14, 2 2s are 4. 2, let's take 13, 2 6s are 12, then there is 17, 2 8s are 16, uh, 1 is left, 2 6s are 12. Then again, let's take 2, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6. Now we can't divide by 2 anymore, we are going to use 7, 7 4s are 28, 6s left, 63, 7 9s are 63. Then again, 7 7s are 49. And 7 ones are 7. So we've got all the prime factors of this number. Let's write it down. So the cube root of this number. Now we're going to put the minus sign outside and we're going to put all the numbers inside. So let's find the factors. How many twos? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 twos are there. Let's write it down. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And we have three 7s. 7 into 7 into 7. So we've got everything. Now we'll put them in triplets. Let's close this bracket. Okay. And put them in triplets. So here we have one set of 2, another set of 2, one more set of 2, and a set of 7. Let's take one from each. So minus into 2 into 2 into 2 into 7. So let's multiply and see. We have the minus sign there. 2 twos are 4. 4 twos are 8. 8 sevens are 56. So minus 56. So this is our answer. That means we have found the cube root of this number minus 1,75,616 is minus 56. That means if you multiply this three times, minus 56 three times, you will get back this other number. So with this, children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you, children.